Work that has been prepared by the loving hands of people I don't even know, mm -hmm. most that I don't know, mm -hmm. that have spent their time and love in preparing something for our Armenian children in Armenia. Well, as you see, they don't get better than this. We have been getting blankets and hats um, that each one so beautifully made. And I've tagged them with AMA, Stitch with Love, and a child, a mother that is expecting or a child that's in need will be receiving these. There's hats and there is scarves and larger hats and, and um, <laughs> magnificent sweaters. This is um, all handwork. Every single piece that you see here has been prepared by the loving hand of somebody who has... Uh, the heart and the desire to help those well, in need. I was sitting in uh, a waiting room at the New York Presbyterian Hospital, Cornell, and saw people knitting and decided to uh, go out and say, if they can do it for the people here at home, why don't we do it for those in Armenia? And I did some homework and found that there's 40,000 babies born yearly, and uh, the need was great. So I went out, and the Armenian uh, Missionary Association of America, under their auspices, I began a program called Stitched with Love, reached out to many people. I thought it was going to be neighboring friends, but it has grown nationwide, from California to Philadelphia to uh, North Carolina to Illinois, Chicago, everywhere. I'm getting wonderful outpour of... Um, love and with along with these pieces that are coming are wonderful notes of uh, letters and testimony and how happy they are to be doing these things knowing that they're going to the children in Armenia. Betty, when you began this thing, did you think it would grow to this extent? I hoped and no, it has every time I do a shipment, it's doubled in Believe size. Him. I think it's multi uh, satisfaction. One, the receipt, the recipients in Armenia are thrilled that here at home we are doing something for them, uh, knowing that with especially now with the Armenians, uh, Armenian refugees, the influx from mm -hmm. from. Uh, 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 Syria and Iraq, uh, the need is great. AMAA is working with other organizations in Armenia, such as AGBU and ARS, to distribute these items through their established programs. For example, AGBU has their very successful hygiene pregnant women centers in Vanazar, in Tallinn, and Yervart. And the ARS has its birthing clinic in Akurian as well. Well, we are so grateful for the ability to work with and support the programs of these organizations. The AMAA itself has the Nerses Ainilian Clinic in Yerevan, where they make distributions to the infants they care for. The Stitch with Love program dovetails nicely with the AMAA efforts in Armenia, such as the newly constructed modern Avedisian School in Yerevan, which now serves as a distribution center for the local community. Yes, in, in most of the uh, boxes I receive, uh, there's always a note, a note of uh, inspiration. And um, one lady, actually, I'd like to read to you, a lady from North Carolina uh, who recently participated writes, my maternal grandmother was a sole survivor in her family of the genocide. It is through her and my mother that it was passed the talent of sewing and handwork. I am grateful to God for this gift and 
try to use its in its services to others. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your work in making this dream of helping Armenian babies and children a reality. So when you receive something like this, that's a reward. It's so encouraging, and I just, you know, it, and, and this is just one of many letters that I get. Uh, this is just a sample of some of the pieces from Stitch With Love that went out to the women in Armenia, and babies that are being comforted, another baby that's wearing a hat, some of the sweaters, little boy vests, little girl sweaters, uh, some of the samples that we have. We yes. are approaching the Thanksgiving holiday, and we need to be thankful for all of what we have. And we are thanking you for your blessed hands that have prepared these items that we are sending to Armenia for our needy children. Thank you. As you see, it's Christmas every day in this house. This just arrived. Another priority. I am so thrilled. I get this all the time. Hold on. Well, it's going to wrap it up. Oh, boy. What is this? With another beautiful note and a hat. Read it. And it says, thanks so much for the magazine and the letter you sent me. It was so nice to read about all the good work that is being done to keep our children healthy in Armenia. Hope that this will see, meet you, find you well. How beautiful. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.